Hi everyone, Kevin Muldoon from KevinMuldoon.com. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to change the lens on a Sony action camera. This is the Sony action camera mini, otherwise known as the HDR-AZ1. See the model number there. Now this is the smallest one that Sony has. The larger action cameras from Sony tend to be a little bit easier to work with. There's not many uh, of these replacement lens videos on YouTube, which is one of the reasons why I want to do this video. The one I did see, I think the guy was, I think it was the AS15, and all he did was unscrew one screw, and then he just pulled out all the circuitry. Looked very easy to do. Unfortunately, if you've got the one that I've got here, it's a little bit trickier. But it's still, it still can be done. The lens that I have for this is from a company called xcsource.com, and I got this through Amazon for only six pounds ninety nine. This lens is actually for a GoPro Hero 2. It's got a 2.5mm 170 degree wide angle lens, which is what you need. Unfortunately, I've found that this lens is a tiny bit too long for this camera. So what happens is, you know, you, you can get it, get it into focus because of that. But that's not going to hurt our tutorial here. I can still show you how you actually go through the process. Now, you don't really need much for this. In this one, I have the Live View Remote, which comes with the, the Action Camera Mini. Well, it comes with most versions. You can also use your phone to work this. Um, what I will say is, if you don't have one of these for your Sony Action Camera, you should try and get a connection cable to your TV, and that will help you focus it. Because what you need to do is, when you put the lens in, you need to kind of tighten it and screw it to try and get it to the right part. And then the best way to do that is to hook it up to a TV at the same time. What I'm going to do here is just unscrew it and get started. You can see here I've got a Phillips 75mm screwdriver. There's not many ports in this action camera. Micro SD slot there. You've got a USB connection slot there. And last but not least, you have the battery compartment. Now... The camera that you've got from Sony, or even if you know if you've got another completely different kind of action camera, you still might find this tutorial useful. But it may be a bit different, but the steps will be quite similar. You can see here the pole here. Now that is actually for this connection. This is so that you can secure it to tripod, so it's got nothing to do with actually opening the device. So yeah, if you've got another a uh, type of action camera. Obviously the steps are going to be different, but as far as I know, these steps are, you know, they're, they're all kind of similar. You know, it's all the same kind of ballpark if you're doing this. So let's get to it. There's two screws at the bottom, and all we have to do is unscrew these. If it looks like I'm shaky, it's because I've got my hand going right around the camera to the other side to try and get this. Harder than it looks, try to do all that one-handed. There we go. Now you can see here I've got a white sheet here. I think it's good to do, use something like that if you've got it, just so that you can easily see where all the screws and all that kind of thing lands. Saves you, um, you know, if you do it in your carpet or something, it's easy to lose things like this. And that's all you need to do with the screwdriver. That's it, two, two screws. So, you've got, you can see here this lip. Now, you can see here that you pull it around here. Now this is coming out quite loose. The first time you do this, this is gonna be an absolute pain in the ass and it's gonna drive you, you know, it's gonna drive you crazy. You're gonna be pulling your hair out. What happens is, when you pull this out for the first time, this part of it is super, super um, loose and this part's tight so what happens is you end up this part's all tight and this bit's all loose so what I did was I got to the point like here where this part came out it just comes out like that and I kind of got to about here now that's all I could get to before this part was all stuck in and then I, I lodged my screwdriver in and, and well, I had a flat a flat head screwdriver and I pulled it in and I pushed it out like that and it feels like the camera is going to break and um, it feels like the plastic is going to break but you just have to keep working around it 
I don't really have any thick nails, so it was quite difficult. But just work at it. It, it did take me a good 15-20 minutes, but eventually you will get it. And again, like I said earlier, the other models of the Sony Action Camera are much, much easier. It's just this Action Cam Mini that's a real pain in the ass. So once you get all that, it comes off like that. And you can see there's a little kind of dark grey elastic band around there. You can put your finger through there if you want. The Zeiss branding is on the front there. And that this is it. Now, you may have noticed I haven't taken out the battery and I haven't taken out the memory card. That is something that you should do. But the reason I haven't is because I want to show you something. This lens is damaged, which is why I'm replacing it in the first place, why I'm trying to replace it. Now, you should be able to see here, it's maybe not showing there, but there's a black mark here. You can see a black smudge there. If I start recording, you can see, you should be able to see a black mark when it records. See that there, a black mark? And that's because the screen is damaged. So, that is why I left the battery on. So what we're going to do is, this part doesn't actually come out. And all you have to do is unscrew the lens and put in the other lens. But what I want to do just now is, I want to just quickly show you how that's done. But then I want to put the lens back on and show you um, how damaged the lens is. Because you just see the black blur. blur but... Um, in fact, I'll, 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 I'll replace the lens first and then I'll show you what I mean. So this is the replacement lens. So all you do, unscrew it. Unscrew the lens. And... Screw this lens back on. And then you want to slide this above and then you just kind of push it all back in. Now, as you can see here, this lens, you can see it's about half a centimeter too large for this camera, which is why it's protruding at the end here. And that's the problem I've got with this camera. But that is effectively all you have to do to replace the lens on this camera. You need to take it out, take off the um, these screws, pull it out, replace the lens, slide it back in. And when you're sliding it back in, obviously you need to you get to this point, point here. And what you need to do is you can get it this way. Yep. Go like that. Make sure that part's put back in. Um, right. I'm doing this back to the front here. What's going on? That's what I'm doing. I've got it upside down. That's what happens with live TV. Right, so once you've got that part on, you slide it in, and then you get your screws back on. And that's all you have to do. Now, that's what you would do if you had an official part. And as I said, unfortunately, I don't. Um, I don't have the correct part. I'll quickly put in the other one, and I'll show you what's happening and what the problem is. This has got nothing to do with replacing the lens, but those of you who are in the same position as me might, might find this useful. So, I'm going to put in the original lens. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click record, and I'm going to take off this screw, uh, take off this lens, screw it back in the new lens, and you'll see the difference. You'll see what's happening here. So, you can see here, I'll click record. So you can see here, in my hand. Now, if I start unscrewing this, you'll start to see the crack become more apparent. you start to see, see it there. 
So that's the damage lens. You can see that it's coming out of focus, but you can see you can see the damaged lens now. You can see the crack and you can see what's happened here. And that explains why I'm replacing this. Now, if I take this off, I'm now putting in the new lens. The problem with this get it all the way screwed in. The problem with this here now, as you can see, it's all blurry and there's no way to change that. So we'll just stop recording now. So the, the problem is that this part does actually fit. It's just a little bit too long. It's not the official replacement part. This was meant for a GoPro Hero 2, which is why it doesn't focus correctly. But what I'm going to do just now, I'll just quickly put in the original lens and I'll just go through the process again of showing you how to put the lens back on. I know this is a kind of long video and I'm, I'm kind of dragging this out, but I know that those of you who are in the same position as me will find this useful because when I was doing this myself, there's no documentation from Sony. It's very annoying actually. They give you next to no help when something like this goes wrong. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, push it in, push all this in like this. And then screw it on. Now I've did this a few times now. Um, the first time is the time you'll, you'll go crazy with this, well, this particular camera because it's just so stiff. There's no glue, it's just, it's just, it's stuck in so tight that it's an absolute nightmare to try and, to try and get it out. But if I had an official lens of this part, um, you know, I would have actually fixed my camera. Unfortunately, I don't, but the process is simple. If you've got the action camera mini, then what you need to do is do what I was doing there. You need to replace the lens and then when the new lens is in when the new lens is in you get your action cam uh, live rem view remote and you get that and you start looking at that's obviously not connecting just now so you get this and you start looking at what's there and you start you start seeing what the picture is like and then this will help you see whether it's in focus or not it's it's trying and trial and error but this will help you with the live view remote if you don't have this or you don't have something to do a live view, for example, the mobile, uh, the Play Memories app you can, can be used. If you don't have this or the Play Mob Memories app, what I would do is get a cable that connects to a monitor of some kind, you know, just like a, a an HDMI connection to a monitor or a screen of some kind. And then what you do is just keep tweaking the lens like that until it comes into focus. That's what I would do. So there's a few different ways to do it. Unfortunately, as you can see in this situation, I wasn't able to get to find the correct lens for this. And as I said in a video, I said in a, a video yesterday that Sony have come back to me and told me that it's like over fifty pounds for the part. You know, and at that point, I can actually buy two cheaper action cameras. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to replace it now. I'm kind of in a dilemma about it. But anyway, I'm going off tangent here. I hope all of you have found this tutorial useful. All you need, Phillips screwdriver, this is a 75 millimeters one. You know, if you've got something around it, you might be able to do it with a, a different size Phillips, but that's the one that worked for me. That's all you need. The live view remote will come in handy. Uh, if you don't have that, use your Play Memories app or connect to a monitor. It's a very simple process, but if you've got the Action Camera Mini again, the difficulty is getting this part out, off because you'll find that this part will come out and this part will be stuck. It was with mine anyway. If you've got the larger action cameras, from what I've seen online, it's much, much easier. And I've seen some tutorials on GoPros and they're much simpler as well. But I hope you've all found this useful. If you've got any questions about any of this, please do leave a comment below. I'm far from an expert on this, but I will do my best to answer them and I'll try and point you in the right direction because I did do some research on this issue to try and fix this myself. So um, I'll let you know what I know. So if I can help you, I will. If you enjoyed the video please do consider liking sharing or subscribing and 
yeah, please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear from those of you that this video has helped. Um, until then, take care and good luck replacing your lens. Thanks, guys.